New information on a series of crimes making for an active night in Minneapolis that left two officers hurt. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield joins us from the spot where it all started. Susan Elizabeth, what do you know? John, well, we're out here at Mill Ruins Park. That's in downtown Minneapolis. It was before dark last night, about 7.30. Officers thought they spotted a couple of cars that could have been involved in past crimes. Well, it led to quite a series of events, and they think this is a bigger picture story here. We've learned in the past hour that they have made two arrests. Let's go to back to last night and tell you what happened there. Early evening, Minneapolis police spot two cars listed as stolen. They tried to pull the drivers over, they say, and then they took off, pinning one officer against their car. The other officer was injured by a swinging door as the drivers drove off. At that point, police say that a state patrol helicopter started tailing the vehicles. They lost one of the vehicles. The other driver, they say, got into another stolen car on Newton Avenue North. Officers tried a traffic stop again, they say, but the driver fled, leading police to Queen Street right there, Queen Avenue. That is where there was a standoff until 1 a.m. Police got a warrant. They went inside. They removed six people. And as we have just learned, two of them, an adult and a juvenile, will be arrested. The are currently looking to see what other crimes they are involved in and uh, really trying to tie up some of these cases. We know that there are other people we'll be looking for, uh, but each of these people were uh, not only arrested for uh, probable cause for crimes that they that may have committed, they were booked on warrants for previous crimes. Now, police wouldn't go into detail ex exactly what those crimes are, but they did tell me that it was a series of events, crimes that have happened in the third and fifth precinct. Now, as for the officers who were injured, we're told that they were taken to the hospital and they had substantial injuries, but they are both expected to be okay. They are home today resting. John. All right. Thank you, Susan Elizabeth. Minneapolis police say someone trying to stop an armed robbery was shot. It happened outside the Sherwin Williams store on Lake Street. Police say several men tried to rob a woman outside the paint shop when she screamed. Two people, who witnesses say are Sherwin Williams employees, ran out to help her. One of them was shot. The robbers sped off. It's really just a sad thing, and to see something that happened in broad daylight like that, I mean, it's it's just kind of crazy. I mean, it, it gives me the reason to carry every single day. Police say in South Minneapolis, this type of brazen robbery involving a group of thieves is increasing. Just an hour before this crime happened, MPD had sent out an alert warning people about a spike in robberies and carjackings. Police are asking people to be willing to give up belongings rather than fight back with a criminal. If you witness a crime, call 911 and be prepared to answer questions about the number of suspects, what they look like, what kind of weapon they used, and which direction they left in, and what their car looked like.